Our first transmission is the General Motors 6T70. If you open your red book to page four, you'll see that the complaints we're having on this is a vehicle had a five second delay into drive. It also had a two, three flare. It also had a harsh reverse. If you look on page four, you'll see we're showing the channel casting and there are six accumulator or dampeners in that channel casting. These tend to wear out. They wear in the bore, as you can see here. If you take a pick and move that dampener side to side, any amount of movement shows wear in that. Now, as you can see, there are six accumulators that control different things like the one, two, three, four clutch, the uh, three, five R clutch, the torque converter clutch. Depending on which one is worn, you'll get various complaints. But if you have complaints of harsh shifting, delays, flares, or even a complaint of it takes too long to relearn, it may be that these accumulator boards are worn out. For a long time, the only fix was to get a um, new separator plate and channel plate from General Motors. In addition to wearing the accumulator in the bore, these dampener pistons run down and hit the separator plate and they wear a champ from the plate. So the channel plate and the separator plate need to be replaced. GM sells these as a package. The part number is 24260039. But now, as of uh, the time of this filming, two other aftermarket companies have come up with a different solution. Sonics and Transgo has a kit to repair these. They ream them and put in oversized dampener pistons. So that's an aftermarket fix that's not in the book right now, but you'll be seeing it in the future. ATSG is your technical resource for powertrain related problems. Check us out at ATSG.com.